As the world becomes more connected, so do our cars. The latest vehicles of 2024 offer advanced connectivity features and seamless integration with our digital lives. And these are the top anticipated 2024 car models that you might like too. Kia EV5. If you're going to buy a crossover EV SUV, then you may want to wait a little bit for the all new Kia EV5. This one is bound to be a delight. If Kia's recent press release are anything to go by, then we can expect great things from the EV5. So far, major specs and numbers are kept as a secret, but the overall design direction has Kia fans on a high. It draws most of its inspiration from the earlier announced EV9, and we have to say that this is very well done. From the amazing design on the outside to a very unusual design on the inside as well, the rear hinged doors swing open to reveal a very spacious cabin with seats that turn in different directions. Considering that this is still a concept design and not the final production unit of the vehicle, we do expect a few things to be toned down. But you have to give Kia credit for being so aggressive with EV options you can buy from them. Hyundai Ioniq 5 the 2024 Ioniq 5 is supposed to be a higher voltage version of the 2023 Ioniq 5 that was already pretty good. If you want a vehicle that offers even crazier performance numbers, Hyundai is adding the extra power with its Ioniq 5 in variant. This time, drivers are getting dual electric motors that are tapped to produce around 600 horsepower. Every other thing will also be significantly upgraded as well. Larger wheels, bigger brakes, wider fenders, a more sporty nose piece, and a larger rear diffuser. This one should be a delight to drive. It's worth mentioning that the 2024 Hyundai Ioniq 5 is getting a massive software upgrade, which is expected to help with customer complaints, made in the previous year model. Hyundai is also planning to reveal a smaller variant of this performance EV, but it is not going to be revealed until 2025. Genesis GV70 with everything turning electric in 2024, Genesis has decided to fully electrify its premium V6 engine GV70 SUV, and many people will probably consider it as their next luxury electric SUV. If you already like how the gas-powered GV70 looks, then you will be happy to know that not a lot has changed in its incoming electrified version on the exterior. If you don't, well, you may want to look at it again because this masterpiece SUV stands out from the crowd. Also, you'd be glad to know that the mechanical makeup of the electrified GV70 will offer just about the same feat as driving its gas-powered counterpart, which will make it easy for people transitioning from gas to electric. As for specs, you're getting 77.5 kilowatt battery that should last around 250 to 350 miles of driving on a single charge. Also, with the dual-motor all-wheel drive version, you should be packing about 429 horsepower. With the 2024 Genesis GV70 Electric, the luxury SUV segment is going to get even more competitive. Polestar 2 2024 will be a special year for both Polestar as a company and the new upgraded Polestar 2. According to the company newsletter, the Polestar 2 will get an increase in power, range, improved sustainability, and have a rear-wheel drive RWD model optional. The 2024 Polestar 2 will be available in four main models, standard range, single motor, long range dual motor with performance pack, and long range single motor and long range dual motor. Polestar is increasing the EV's range for 2024 you could be getting as much as 395 miles in some variants. Still, charging rates are stuck at 205 kilowatts, unfortunately, a little slower than Tesla's supercharging speeds. Acura ZDX This is clearly Acura's first major attempt to join the EV movement. However, expectations are already high for the 2024 Acura ZDX. There has been some chatter about the 2024 ZDX sharing the same platform with the Cadillac Lyric. While that might come as a shock, it should not distract you from the bigger picture. Cadillac Lyric is a pretty amazing ride, and if that is anything to go by, then we may be getting the 2024 ZDX with around 500 horsepower at its most powerful stage. Acura has not yet stated what the battery capacity will be, 
Nonetheless, the 2024 Acura ZDX may be getting the same 102 kilowatt hour battery from the Lyric. So, we are also looking forward to a range in the 300 mile per charge region. The 2024 ZDX is expected to retail at about $60,000 to $70,000 for its base model, and we're looking forward to how this turns out in production. Mercedes AMG EQE SUV. Mercedes unveiled a fully electric SUV that was more the potent AMG model, giving the five-seater up to 671 horsepower and 500 kilowatts. The two variants each have their front fascias, while the standard EQE SUV has a closed-off grille with a star motif. AMG's face has vertical accents with a Panamericana grille-inspired appearance. The interiors of the two vehicles are similar, and both come with the brand's optional hyperscreen display. Mercedes will also provide four trim levels for the Mercedes AMG EQE SUV, from the base 350 plus to the AMG, and the rear wheel drive 350 plus will have a single motor producing 288 horsepower, 214 kilowatt, and 417 pound feet, 565 newton meters of torque. Mercedes will sell the 536 horsepower, 392 kilowatt EQE 500 SUV and the dual motor EQE 350 4MATIC. Customization will allow new Mercedes EQE owners to determine price as well as how long their vehicle can go when fully charged. Cadillac Celestic For many years, Cadillac had struggled to compete with the European luxury brands. Still, it has persevered as seen by the release of its new electric flagship, the new 2024 Celestic Luxury Sedan. Although this stunning vehicle resembles the new Lyric EV SUV in terms of family resemblance, it stands out thanks to its slender lines, sweeping roof, and bustling rear end. The designers at Cadillac claim to have combined historical design cues with cutting-edge technologies that forecast the future course of the American luxury brand. The interior decor is equally dramatic as the exterior and cabin dazzles with vividly colored leather. A 55-inch digital dash and bucket seats designed in the Eames style. A small group of artisans will hand-build each Celestic as the line assembles them. According to the EPA, the Ultium battery pack that powers the Celestic is big enough to provide around 300 miles of driving range per charge. According to Cadillac, a 200 kilowatt connection will give the battery a range of 78 miles in just 10 minutes. Buick Electra E5 Finally, Buick is also getting into the electric car race with the new Electra E5. Interestingly, the SUV will run on an Ultium battery platform that is designed by General Motors. It may also be similar in specs to the Cadillac Lyric, but more a budget version. The Electra SUV is expected to have between 350 to 400 horsepower depending on its trims and feature level. The design of the new Buick EV is quite balanced. On the outside, you're getting a good mix of a traditional design and the futuristic style of an electric car. The interior, on the other hand, looks absolutely amazing and unique for the Buick brand. The style, color theme, space, multicolored ambient lighting, and a curved 30-inch infotainment display. This is bound to be a pretty cool SUV for both China and US markets. Hyundai Kona. Hyundai is now prepared to introduce the new crossover generation, which will hit American shores for the 2024 model year. There will be four different variants. Unsurprisingly, we're getting an EV version now. Then there's purely combustion powered, a hybrid, and the inline. Hyundai's designers first created the new Kona EV before incorporating the design into the other models. They all have a recognizable light bar along the edge of the hood up front. Below this strip, on the corners, are the headlights. The 2024 Hyundai Kona retains both of its four-cylinder engines from the previous generation. A 147-horsepower 2.0-liter engine will be the base model with a turbocharged 1.6-liter four-cylinder engine offered as an option. The hybrid drivetrain revealed for the Kona in other regions might also be available. Kia EV9 
early 2024 is when the 2024 Kia EV9 is anticipated to appear. The 2024 Kia EV9 will be built on the EV6's popularity, while being a big brother SUV with three rows. Interestingly, there will be five different trim options for the EV9, with a starting price of about $55,000. When built with max options, it should have roughly 400 horsepower and 480 pound-feet of torque. If you want the top potent version of this EV, those are not bad numbers for a three-row family SUV. For Kia, it's crucial to have a family EV in the fleet as the auto industry embraces electrification more and more. That will be the 2024 Kia EV9, depending on how the interior is set up. It will most likely have seats for six or seven people as a three-row SUV. Audi Q6 e-tron Q6 e-tron is Audi's latest all-new electric SUV that is truly performance and design masterpiece. Audi has been quite busy when it comes to electric vehicles, and it looks like they're taking the flight one step further with the new Q6 e-tron. So far, the design on the test units that have been spotted reveal its unique design language that Audi has built from this particular vehicle. Furthermore, Audi has confirmed that its Q6 e-tron will carry a massive 800-volt electrical system. It will have also two design variations, one regular crossover SUV shape and a sloped-back version that give a more sporty vibe. Judging by the number attached to the name, this should be a middle ground from what the Q4 and Q8 e-tron offer. Volkswagen ID Buzz While there are tons of big and small EVs on the market, the one department that seems to be getting the least attention is the large families that would like to quick gas. On that note, Volkswagen has decided to fill the gap with the 2024 Volkswagen ID Buzz. Grabbing inspiration from the older Type 2 Microbus, this offers a nostalgic vintage vibe on the outside, while hosting massive space on the inside with free-for-all seating in three rows. This fully electric van will come in both all-wheel drive and rear-wheel drive options. The brand is currently aiming to get 2024 ID Buzz to as high as 260 miles of range. The base-level single-motor rear-wheel drive ID Buzz will produce about 201 horsepower. As for the higher dual-motor trim with all-wheel drive, you should get as high as 295 horsepower. As long as Volkswagen could pull these numbers off, this would be an amazing accomplishment for a vehicle this size. Dodge Charger When the next-generation Charger goes on sale for the 2024 model year, it'll be an entirely new car for the Dodge lineup. A four-door model will also be added to the roster, but we'll learn more about either vehicle closer to its debut. There will most likely be more trim levels for the 2024 Charger, but we only know of three for now. The number of engines that will power the various trims of the new Charger is still to be disclosed by Dodge, but the base 340 model is expected to produce 455 horsepower, while the mid-range 440 models is expected to produce 590 horsepower. An all-wheel drive, 800-volt architecture will be used by a high-performance trim known as SRT Banshee, although the model's horsepower capacity has yet to be disclosed. We'll also know the initial prototype employs a multi-speed transmission rather than the traditional EV direct drive system. Strong acceleration also gives the driver the impression of a gear shift. BMW i5 the new 2024 BMW i5 may possibly be the most versatile vehicle that BMW has ever designed. While it will be fully electric, the German car brand has designed the structure of the powertrain to fit any condition. Whether they decide to build a plug-in hybrid version or do a fully gasoline or diesel setup, they could easily fit it into the same structure. According to BMW, they intend to have the 2024 i5 be a car that can work in any condition, lifestyle, and consumer preference. The 5 Series has always been one of BMW's most popular lines, so the intention is to give consumers something new to gush over. We do expect great things from this one, as BMW has a pretty strong record to go by. The official launch of the new series is set to be sometime in 2024, and we expect the all-new BMW i5 to match or exceed its direct rival, Mercedes-Benz EQE. VINFAST VF7 
the VF7 is VinFast's response to the Toyota BZ4X, which suggests that it might end up being a possible best fan favorite of VinFast electric SUVs. The VF7 should appeal to a wide range of electric SUV buyers because it's compact enough for confined urban environments but substantially large enough to compete on the open road. VinFast will be offered in Eco and Plus versions, just like the smaller VF6. 349 horsepower and 368 pounds-feet of torque are anticipated to be produced by the more potent dual-motor all-wheel drive plus variant. Regarding the front drive, single-motor VF7 Eco, expect the same 201 horsepower and 228 pound-feet of torque, but hopefully something more optimized to offer a little more punch. Details about battery pack capacity and EV system charging are not yet available. The VF7 will be marketed as an upscale electric crossover with options including premium vegan leather, upholstery trim, and a panoramic sunroof. A front LED light bar with animated effects and rear trademark LED lights are among its exterior features. Each VF7 will also be equipped with various active driver assistance systems. Cadillac Lyric By far one of the most interesting luxury electric SUVs you will ever set your eyes on, the new Lyric is making a return in 2024 with interesting changes based on customers' feedback. The major update to the Lyric is the new trim levels. You get a base model, tech trim, a mid-range luxury trim, and the top of the class is the new Sport. The major differences between these three trims are more aesthetic than functional. You may be able to go with either and still be just fine. Choreographed exterior lights, illuminated door handles, and rain-sensing wipers are the kind of features you may be missing out on if you go for the base model. Interestingly, range estimates are lower than they were in the 2023 Lyric. Rear-wheel drive will offer about 308 miles, while you get one mile less on all-wheel drive at 307 miles. Performance is to be the same with 340 horsepower on the single-motor rear-wheel drive and 500 horsepower on the dual-motor all-wheel drive variant. The 2023 model did not disappoint in performance, especially for a vehicle this size in the SUV class, and we expect more of the same from the new Lyric. Good news is that the base level still starts at around $59,000. Mercedes-Benz EQG the Mercedes-Benz G-Class developed a reputation as an all-terrain vehicle over several decades before becoming a six-figure prestige symbol for celebrities. Now that gas-powered vehicles are becoming less popular, the G-Class is giving birth to an all-electric EQG. The EQG maintains the traditional G-Class boxy design, and Mercedes claims it will continue to be a capable all-terrain vehicle. One electric motor is anticipated to be installed in each wheel of the 2024 Mercedes EQG and the battery will be integrated within a sturdy, vintage ladder frame. Four individually controllable electric motors, one near each wheel, are expected to power the EQG, enhancing both on- and off-road driving capability. If the design is any indication, the EQG will also include a two-speed gearbox that can be switched between for off-roading. Like the gas-powered G-Wagon, the EQG will have a stiff rear axle and a sophisticated, independent front suspension that should improve on-road driving. This vehicle is already hard to find, and imagine trying to get your hand on an electric EQG now. Lucid Gravity the Gravity Electric SUV is the logical step after the release of the Lucid Air Electric Luxury Sedan. The 2024 Lucid Gravity is anticipated to take what the Air offers but adding a higher seating position, a more spacious cabin, an SUV design, and yes, a higher price. It will use the same technology as the Air. The Air Sedan serves as the mechanical foundation for the Lucid Gravity SUV. We anticipate a version with dual electric motors and standard all-wheel drive. Like the Air, the Gravity will be available in high-performance Grand Touring model with up to 1,200 horsepower. However, a Sapphire variant with up to 1,000 horsepower is also possible. The most expensive variants like the Air will probably be the most potent 
with lower end gravity trims having lesser horsepower figures. The Gravity's taller, more angular SUV appearance will likely be less aerodynamic. Range should be slightly reduced as a result, even though its sedan brother promises a driving range of up to 516 miles per charge of its 112 kilowatt hour battery pack. The Gravity should be able to charge quickly using DC fast charging, just like the Air. It may include three years of free charging at Electrify America charging stations, plus still be eligible for federal tax credits for a couple more years. Land Rover Range Rover EV With Land Rover's brand new chassis that can accommodate gas, plug-in hybrid, or electric propulsion, the company's flagship EV model now makes an evolutionary leap into the completely electric area. Luxury SUV that is also electric is expected to bring out the best of the Range Rover's unique and recognizable design reputation. Battery range, power, and pricing are among the crucial characteristics that are important, but we anticipate the Range Rover EV to maintain the plushness and strong off-road prowess that have come to represent the brand since it was introduced in the United States in 1987. An all-new chassis and new electric powertrain will be used in their 2024 Range Rover EV. The electric vehicle will be built on the long wheelbase variant, which should allow for three rows of seating, just like the current gas-powered range. A new multi-link suspension design frees up more space for the EV's battery and rear wheel steering system by reducing the amount of room required for wheel articulation. Genesis GV90 Taking the luxury EV SUV conversation to a whole new level is the new 2024 Genesis GV90. It is the brand's first attempt at a three-row electric SUV and it is said to be their flagship SUV. Genesis has always been great with its design appeal and all that inspiration will also be transported to the GV90, so hopes are high. At the moment, we know that the GV90 will share the same powertrain as the upcoming Kia EV9 and Hyundai Ioniq 7. This should produce impressive results on the step of the pedal, as well as an impressive range of around 300 miles on a single charge minimum. Genesis will also benefit from the 350K W fast charging infrastructure of Hyundai Motor Group, just like two other brands like Kia and Hyundai. Most importantly, Genesis promised to keep the luxury standards throughout the interior and exterior of this three-row SUV. Hyundai Ioniq 7 The 2024 Hyundai Ioniq 7, an all-electric SUV resembling the three-row Hyundai Palisade, is the new electric car Hyundai plans to use as a trigger for deep market penetration. This vehicle will have a seating capacity of seven or eight, the Hyundai Ioniq 7 model is one of three new electric vehicles the company has already committed to releasing in the following years. There is no official word on the vehicle's release, although three trim levels might be anticipated. Because the company is concentrating on producing a vehicle that has a driving range of 300 miles minimum, it is anticipated that this vehicle will feature a huge usable capacity battery and a 350 kilowatt fast charger will be included. Pretty decent performance, but for a much cheaper price. Ram 1500 REV After getting rumored and teased for nearly a year, we finally know that Ram's incoming EV truck will look like on the US roads. While the newly revealed production version of the Ram 1500 REV is not as imposing as its initial concept reveals, it still comes with futuristic aesthetics that seems to be customary with EVs. For Ram drivers who would not want to go too far from what they had already used, the good news is that it still looks like a good old Ram truck, just electric. The promised 500 mile range will make the Ram EV truck the longest range pickup truck with a battery. One downside here is that a toned down design also means that a lot of features that come with the outlandish concept design may also be getting ripped. Ram is keeping most of the important information regarding the 1500 REV as exclusive as possible, and it may remain that way for a couple more weeks or months. All I can confirm right now is that the design still gets a trunk in the front, similar to its rival electric pickup trucks. Porsche Macan EV 
Porsche's 2024 electrification initiatives are getting even more aggressive after the launch of the Macan EV. Before the new crossover makes its official appearance, Porsche will make the performance rear axle available with the Macan EV, depending on the model when it goes on sale. The two valve shock absorbers for the Porsche Active Suspension Management System are one of the new features of the Macan EV. They are available with steel or air suspensions, independently adjustable, and will provide better dampening characteristics. The front and rear tires will have different widths to enable the best base, weight distribution, and wheel sizes will go up to 22 inches. The new data aids in giving the Macan EV a complete picture. In its most powerful configuration, the crossover will have up to 603 horsepower with more than 738 pound-feet of torque. In addition, it will have the technology, features, and suspension needed to harness all this power. Chevrolet Silverado EV A worthy addition to Chevrolet's new electrified lineup is Silverado EV. A mid-gate design option allows users to fold the partition between the bed and the cab for added storage space. A big battery pack is believed to have a range of up to 400 miles on a single charge, and a battery with a range of 100 miles may be charged in just 10 minutes using DC fast charging technology. The 2024 Chevrolet Silverado EV can tow up to 10,000 pounds and handle loads weighing up to 1,300 pounds thanks to dual electric motors that produce up to 664 horsepower and provide standard all-wheel drive. The Silverado EV will only have two electric motors compared to the GMC Hummer EV's three electric motors. The configuration should still deliver strong acceleration performance as Chevrolet claims the top spec RST has at least 664 horsepower, while the base WT model manages with 510. Both all-wheel drive and four-wheel steering are standard. Customers who choose the RST model will discover that their vehicle has an adjustable air suspension. Nevertheless, a pair of enormous, stylish 24-inch wheels are optional. Locking differentials, substantial all-terrain tires, and other adventure-ready components will be added to the Silverado EV suspension in the Trail Boss Edition. The maximum towing capacity of the Silverado EV at launch will be 10,000 pounds for the RST variant and 8,000 pounds for the WT. According to Chevrolet, a variant with a 20,000-pound towing capacity may soon be added to the list later on. Jeep Recon EV The Jeep is unique in the new lineup. The impending 2024 Jeep Recon EV is coming to crawl rocks to say it exactly. Electric vehicles have impacted nearly every market, zapping into classes of vehicles like full-size pickup trucks, station wagons, luxury SUVs, and now this. The four-wheel drive Recon EV is a fully electric midsize SUV with a power folding rooftop and easily detachable doors inspired by the Wrangler 4XE plug-in hybrid. Initial renderings show a spare tire mounted on the tailgate, the LED 7th slot front grille, the beefy BF Goodrich rubber, and the seats for up to five people on top of rubberized flooring can all be seen in initial renders. As one of two new electric models to the Jeep portfolio, the Recon EV will join the impending Wagoneer EV we anticipate the Jeep Recon EV to be about the same size as the current Jeep Wrangler or two-row Grand Cherokee because it belongs to the mid-size SUV class. According to Jeep, the Recon EV production will be scheduled to begin sometime in 2024.